All right, you're on deck with Third Eye Cam, man. Today's date is January 22nd, 2020, and the time is 8.30 at night. That's 20.30 for my military. Uh, I just wanted to bring your attention to uh, this star in the sky. I got a cool Celestron telescope that is uh, that I'm able to connect my 35 millimeter to, and this is my very first video. Um, where I can actually do a video, a live video with the stars. And this cool telescope, it's got a hen uh, unit with it, so I can actually kind of gimbal it around and put the star, keep the star in the middle. I'm just gonna do the basics by doing the, the actual pan around. I'm not going to uh, do any automations or, you know, I'm gonna do it all myself. So pretty much you just want to get your, uh, your eye on this. This is the infamous, uh, Planet Nine. So, this is just the beginning of me actually uh, focusing on this with this telescope. This is the telescope that I ordered. And as I go along, this is just an initial, but as I go along, uh, I'm going to bring that planet in real close. Not with this camera, not this segment. But uh, as I go along with further film, video. Uh, this planet is right below, let me get it back in the center because it's moving. It's uh, right in the middle, middle of, uh, right next to Orion, I'm sorry, left ascension. Uh, this is about as close as it clears I get. Let me see if I can focus it. I'm going to purposely throw it out of focus. So that's it thrown out of focus. You can see it. And that's it in a very sharp focus. That's the way it looks like in the sky, it's bluish. That's been in the light right there, so it went to kind of yellow, and then it's back to its blue and yellow hue. But I purposely blurred it, so you can see how it looks. I want you to just get a look at, because there are a lot of um, people, when they view these stars at night, they try to blur them out with their equipment to make it look like it's something more than what it is. But from its receiving point, transmitting point, to my receiving point, this is actually how it looks, and I'm gonna sharpen it out. So I just want to make that point to debunk a lot of knuckleheads. Um, all right, so that's point at nine. I'm gonna edit up, uh, not edit, I'll do the editing if I have to, but I'm gonna swing this thing, depending on how slow it moves, up to some of the uh, Orion stars. So I'm gonna live run it as I go. So let us go to those Orion stars. Now hopefully it'll pick up some stuff um, as we go along. Alright, cool, here we go. See if I can align that up. See if I can catch that. Ooh, okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So pretty much I'm using the arrows to line it up. Okay, see, yeah, see that star? Let me see if I can make it sharper. That is, let's see, make sure I'm, I'm sharp. There we go. All right, so that star right there, that's the lowest star on the Orion belt. Ain't that cool? Now I'm gonna go up to the next star. So, go up and over. All right, there's the other star. And I'm gonna make, in, make sure I'm seeing it right. Yep, that is the middle middle star to the Orion Belt. And this this, teles this telescope has like 130 uh, millimeter viewing. Let me see if I can go up to the other one. There's another one. Yeah, there's the uh, third star. Now I'll be posting the names up because I don't know them off the top, but as each star comes in, and that's what I'm saying, that this is the top star of the Orion's Belt. I'm gonna actually throw it up in the camera so you can see it. Now let's swing over to Orion's foot. Let's see if we can swing that. All right, let me see, we're almost there. All right, cool. So, that's the star that is actually Orion's foot. Make sure it's clear. And I make sure I'm doing this right for my viewers and uh, another one called Rigel 
is supposed to be on the verge of dying. Let's swing around back to Rigel. So work with me here as we gimbal up to Rigel. All right, Rigel should fall in there here shortly. Give me a second. Got to kind of toggle things around and make sure my Where's Rigel? I'm not seeing Rigel. Give me a second. Ouch. It's kind of difficult to find the stuff with the camera. Oh, there's Rigel. Okay, so, yeah, here we go. This bad boy right here is starting its 10,000 year, um, it's pretty much extending to a big dwarf. This is Rigel, can't remember the name. But this is the top part of Orion um, X. If it was an X, and if you're looking at it, it'd be the top part of X on the top left-hand side. This is a star that's getting ready to go into a uh, eventual supernova. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Ain't that a cute? Ain't that? That's awesome. If I can, I'm going to swing this thing around also to the uh, the Little Dipper. So we're going to get off for a ride, Jewel. We're going to swing around to the Little Dipper. So I'm going to just let it spin slowly. Hopefully we'll catch some other things. Let me see where's that Little Dipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. And the reason why I want my camera to run, just in case it catches something. But uh, since this is the first time recording, I want it to be as sharp as possible. And he's swinging around slowly to uh, the Little Dipper. Hopefully we'll catch it once I line everything up. There we go. Getting there. Hopefully it'll come out the constellation. Okay, yeah, there we go. So check that out. <laughs> the little dipper. Look at that. That is your little dipper. That's the the, the uh, actual pan. And let me find the handle. Yeah, I'm still new with this controller. That's your pan and your pan handle. So this is a little dipper constellation. That's cool. This is my first time going through this with you all. Also, I've been waiting on this, uh, a clear night. But yeah, that's your pan handle of the dipper. And this is your, I mean, that's your pan. And this is your pan handle. Come on, get there with me. There we go. So we're getting it. I appreciate y'all patience. Of course, I'm gonna edit this thing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank all my subscribers also if I have not, some of y'all gonna get complimentary third eye cam shirts. All right. Got a star should be popping up in the field here shortly. Time to see it. Oh, I'm off. There we go. That's uh, I don't know what star that is, but it is left ascension of Orion constellation and planet nine. So I can't figure out which one that is. It's just a star. And now I'm going to swing up to again. The Orion constellation just seems to be the, the clearest thing in the sky, aside from the Little Dipper. I do have three lower stars, so I'm swinging around the planet nine. Then I'm gonna drop. So I see some other stars that I want to show uh, kind of on the horizon. And we should be back at planet nine as soon as I can line it up. There it is. That's my favorite planet nine. 
a lot of people were, were trying to dis well, a person was trying to dispute me on this planet but this thing has changed position in the sky um, in contrast to the stars and from this point now that I got the telescope and my camera working together I'm gonna be tracking it along with my GoPro and my regular camera as I take shots of it in the pic in the sky and contrast it against uh, the Orion constellation it's a big blue ball planet I actually zoomed in on it at one point once I like connect my accessories to this camera it's gonna bring this thing in close right now it's just showing it as standard and far out but once I manipulate the system and get it in there close right like it's cold out here and I'm in uh, Petersburg Virginia right off from 95 to my left but as time goes and as I figure all this equipment out and, and upgrade my system so that way I can put this uh, Planet 9 in my database it'll punch it right up to it then uh, you know we'll go from there let me drop down there's some other stars I want to focus on it's like three funny looking stars I think that's the kite let's see where is that okay there's one of them they're lower than planet nine like I said I don't know the names of them yet but I will figure them out and we'll be uh attaching them to the screen All right, so that's one and go to the other one where is it it's kind of hard to catch these things I'm in an awkward position but we're gonna make do with what we got and we'll edit as we go oh there it is this is the other star to the left upper left of that star and then there's one that's below it I'm gonna zoom down to it hopefully they should show up slightly different uh, from one another on the camera Let's see where are you oops Actually, it's lower than that, so I missed it. No, for this, for me, this is all really fun. Um, so I'm getting, I'm, I'm able to do something I've never done before. And like I said, there it is. These three stars are in a pyramid right below Planet Nine. It's like uh, the first one was to the right, then you go over five degrees, left ascension, and catch the other one, then you go down. Another five degrees left ascension, and you'll catch that one. All right, so let me go to uh, back to my Orion constellation. What I'm going to do is zoom in on that dagger that's below the belt of Orion and get that cluster of stars. All right, so should see a cluster of stars pop up once I line it up. Hopefully it'll show up on my camera. Hmm. I see something, but I can't gauge it with this camera screen, but I'm pretty sure it's showing up. This stuff is usually sharp. And I got my camera set kind of high. All right, so that's the dagger that's below Orion's belt. I don't know why I can't see it in my own eye, but my ridicule is lined up on it. Let me make sure. There we go. There it is. Ooh, there we go. Boom. That's the dagger that is a, a part of Orion's constellation, and one of those stars looks off like out of focus let me see if I can't get it in oh no there it is yeah those little stars uh, that's weird make sure I got it lined up yep that's it so I would have to go up to catch the rest of them yeah, there they are boom beautiful ain't it that's actually a double star looks like little jewels and you see the rest of them 
flowing. Now that's why I was in between them. This thing is really close. So that was two sets, two sets. So boom, boom, uh, uh, another set. See if there's anything below that. Nope. So this is really fun. Okay, so those two, those two, those two. And we keep going up. We're gonna eventually hit Orion's belt. Let me make sure. Yep, there we go. That's the bottom star of Orion's belt. Right there. If I keep going up, there's the other one. Damn, that's cool. Try to get in the center. Actually, let me see if I can get both of them. Yep, see. There you go. Those are two of Orion's belt. And, um. We'll get that last one. There it is. That's the top star of Orion's belt. So that's, that's, that's very cool. I like that. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude my night. I've had enough fun with this. And uh, it's been a pleasure with Third Eye Cam. Again, today's uh, date, January 22nd, and 2020. And it's uh, 2120 now, which is 920 for my civilians. And uh, we're going to wrap this up. So it's been a pleasure, Third Eye Cam. And before I go, because I'm having so much fun with this, I'm going to swing this bad boy back to Planet Nine, because that's how I want to end it for all my naysayers. I'm very interested in uh, surveying this Planet Nine. And that's really why I bought all this equipment. There it is. All right, so once I get all my equipment or um, synced up with each other, this buddy right here, this bad boy right here, we're gonna do a full deal on it and I'm gonna zoom in real close with my equipment. So you, along with myself, can catch Planet Nine and we're gonna be prepared to be astounded. Now it's cold out here right now, but we're gonna catch this, all right? Third eye cam, been a pleasure. Please come back and visit me. Poof.